Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of Cells Over Code Black. Okay, so your girl, like the last time you guys saw me on Monday, thought that episode 5 was not going to air at least two weeks from now. And I woke up yesterday morning, because it is now like 1am right now for me, because of course I was busy earlier, later in the day, and I wasn't able to record the rest of this until now. Um, and I saw episodes three, four, and five, and I was like, what the frick is going on? So, um, I, I got a message from one of, one of my subs thinking it's a possibility that the reason that they're doing this is they may want Cells of Work Code Black to get done at the exact same time of Cells of Work Season 2, but now it's kind of weird because Cells of Work Black is like two episodes ahead of the original of second season for Cells of Work. So I don't know really what they're doing. Um, there's a possibility that I'm kind of thinking that this show is probably going to end maybe at least two or three weeks before Cells of Work season two ends. It's almost like, you remember when like BNA was airing last season? I mean, well, not even last season, last year, and how they had like the first six episodes come out one week and then several maybe a month later they had the second half of the show come out quickly and so that's why like a lot of people including myself felt like bna felt hella rushed because they had all the episodes of the first half come out and then the second half come out and it was like it would have been better if we just like kind of took our time but i don't know what else really they're gonna do with it but we just gotta wait and see but other than that it's gonna get started with episode five and three two one go but it does feel weird to, you know, watch three episodes of this show in one week on two different days. <laughs> so, of course, the Kelly T-cells are going to come in. I don't even remember what the preview for this is. I watched three and four on Monday. I had other things on my mind after I finished. <laughs> I don't worry about Patreon shows and other things. What the? Are, are we doing sumo wrestling moves now? Well, I mean, the killer T-cells, <laughs> I can't even say it right, the killer T-cells of this series versus the original, I, I don't know, I mean, can you imagine those two are the fight? <laughs> that would be so hilarious, I would love to see that, honestly, because it feels like to me right now, just from the first minute we've seen of them, that... The killer T cells of this show seem a lot stronger than the ones in, you know, original cells of work. But I mean, who knows? I just. <sighs> Hell, I wouldn't even be surprised if by like the end of this series, we get a blood transfusion episode that we got in like the original series for the end of season one when like people who spoke. Not Canadian, but like having a country type accent. So it would be interesting. I would like to see it again because I thought those characters were fun and different because, dang, I mean, yeah. Hell, I'm hoping they get like a little bit more shine in season two, even though we're three episodes in and we haven't seen them since 13. Yeah. Yeah. But who knows what the hell they're going to do. Oh, that's... <laughs> oh, you about to be hella stressed today. Oh. 
Oh, it's because of the erection episode. It's okay. <laughs> That too. Oh, that looks so disgusting. The more and more I watch the show, like, ugh. what the? <laughs> what happened? Does her hair burn up the side? <laughs> I'm just not acting. The more and more I watch the show, it just really makes me want to just change everything. Hell, I'm currently changing everything about my diet now and stuff, but it just, ugh. Just looking at this just makes it feel like, so whether you are healthy or not, it, it just ugh, makes you look disgusting. Oh my god! <laughs> Well, God. Oh, but y'all, you know, we're going to be losing some hairs today. Oh, his hair's turning gray. Oh, is that supposed to be like hair dye? <laughs> oh, pigment. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, my blood cell. It's fine. But how are you feeling though after, you know, last week? Or really not even last week, a couple of days ago. Oh, he's so cute. Cody, what are you doing?
He's so freaking hard headed. Why are people so hard headed? Even I mean, damn, no, they're not even people. They're cells. Exactly, they just feel like cyborgs. Well, yeah, but they just seem scarier now. I mean, look at them. How look at their eyes, like they're being possessed. And it's like the head killer T-cell, you know. Of course, he really doesn't give a crap. Well, yeah, of course you two are getting overworked because, I mean, hello. But the killer T cells, like, they feel so overworked, probably. And I'm guessing that's where the hair loss and everything's going to come into. Because we're getting into stress even more. Maybe. Mm, I hope so. That's something else. How did this happen, though? What exactly happened? I mean... Huh. Was it the killer T-cells? Because oh, they're, they're overworked. But why? Yeah, because they did it. You're not going to kill. Oh! This is wrong. They're dying. And see, at the end of it, he's not going to know what the hell he did because of the fact is they're so overworked and stressed. And it's all Helper T cells' fault.
Yes, but it's your reason why it's... <laughs> your stress is leading on to this body stress. I mean, yeah, whoever the freaking person is of this body, of course that man is, you know, stressed about anything else. But now it's making it worse. Hell, if you want to go on a day, he ain't going to be able to go on a damn day. He bald. But there are some people who like bald-headed people. Bald-headed men. But, you know, we ain't going to talk about that because it ain't me. No, open your eyes and realize it, please. Jesus. But not like this, though. <laughs> you know, he always run off on his friend like that. Yeah, but you're working too much. You're already overstressing yourself out way too much. Um, this must have been what, um, helper T press, the buttons. Mm. Oh.
Of course it's steroid. <laughs> I wouldn't think that steroids would look like, I'm about to say freaking Daleks from Doctor Who, but I mean, they don't look like Daleks from Doctor Who, but I think the way, you know, that they are and what they have to do, of course, yeah. can rest now. That's the power of steroids, and that's also why you don't really take steroids. I mean, I can imagine maybe. See, now, I can't even say that, you know, the man in this body would be an athlete. Because when I think of, like, everything that's happening in this body, all I can think is an overweight man. So, why the hell would an overweight man take steroids? If it's, like, almost, like, for muscle building and such, because, I mean, the things that I've heard, but... Mm. There's blood in it. I know that if there's blood in your urine, of course, that that's bad. I don't remember what it means specifically, but, oh, of course... That's not good. I'm scared about what the hell is going to happen. But steroids and hair loss and overwork slash stress. I mean, I feel bad for this body and the cells that are in this body. It feels like every single week or, you know, this past whole week with the three episodes coming out. I mean, this body is getting more and more stressed to the point where I feel like, yeah, this season is going to end with this body dying. I'm, I mean, you know... I remember when season one of Cells of Work ended and even doing the rewatch with my mom watching the dub, there was a point where my mom was like, is this body gonna die? And I like to hear her say that, there was a point where I thought that too, where I was like, damn, they might end season one with a body dying and such. I wouldn't be surprised if Cells of Work Co Black does it because it is a dark humor show, but at the same time, I don't think they're gonna do that. I think something's gonna happen to where it is going to possibly be life-threatening, but probably not as much as I think it is where somebody's going to die again. I think, you know, the overworking hair loss and it was a very interesting episode. The steroids looked nice, different. Wasn't expecting them to look at that. Come here, Pop. Kid, of course, fucking kidneys, kidney stones and tears. Why, why I didn't get that with the freaking blood in the urine? I don't fucking know. Come here, Cody, I'll pick you up. Um, wait, okay, I'll pick you up in a minute, puppy. But I don't know, I mean, I think from what 
I was told about kidney stones. I think with that, that it, especially with your kidney, I think when you lose, is it your kidney? That, that's it. I think you're, you're dead, dead. I don't remember. I'll ask my, my mother in a minute. <laughs> Probably after I'm done recording this. But yeah, honestly, I cannot wait to see what is going to transpire in this next episode. But yeah, this episode was good for what it was. Steroids looked interesting. Um, having not only the helper T cell, but the killer T cells. Hold on, Cody. Um, just be in that mindset of like overwork, trying to destroy and losing their mind on what's right. It, it's bad, but you feel bad for them no matter what. But yeah, this was a very good episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode five of season one of Cell Support Code Black. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Thursday, hopefully. Because, like I said, the situation that we're in currently for episode six. Bye, guys.